Anyways, time to do a Le cheerleader story. Oh no, it's Navia. That's a good one. They might have run into some kind of trouble. Let's go check out what's going on. Judgment Day. Let's have some judgment. Hmm. Still no dice? I get good pieces of golden. I built my Sivon Fisher. I hope so, man. Uh, not at all. And I She's so worth it. Everyone in the court of Fontaine already. That's a neat animation. I, dude, this nice. They gave now we have a new animation for this shit. Lynette's ears drooped as soon as she heard that we'd have to be out and about for days on end, and Fremene, uh, he hid himself under his helmet as soon as he realized there'd be people around that he didn't know. Hmm. What about Chiori and Charlotte? Oh, I feel like both of them would be mm. more than up to it. Mm, I've asked them already, but they're both pretty busy right now. I just <coughs> gave the members of the Spina a few days off, too, so I don't want to bother them either. Hmm. This is getting pretty difficult. Nadia, Clarence, this what's synced up. up? Oh, my. <laughs> well, if it isn't my dear partners, how are you all doing? Huh. Navia? Huh? Oh, you mean... Yep, this is our chance. Oh no, not a good sign. She's just passing through. Do you need our help with something? Oh, precisely. My dear partners, we've got a huge problem right now that only you can solve. That sounds so fucking oh, sus. for real? This is so Absolutely. sus. We've already exhausted all our other options. <clears throat> Traveler, Paimon. What kind of problem? Would you join us and play Mar Chausse Hunter Judgment Day? A uh, what? Mar Chausse what now? It's a new game script by the Tabletop Troupe, a local roleplay adventure club. Ever heard okay. of the Tabletop Troupe? They put out games that allow you to participate in a story and roleplay characters with your friends. Oh, and I thought the shit would be an event or some shit. That sounds super interesting. And not story, Our okay. And I are both veteran but that's members of the club. Recently, someone came up with a new script and was looking for people to help playtest it for them. And when they asked, of course I couldn't refuse. <laughs> I mean, come on. Rapid a brand new Ooh. script? Nobody has ever played it before. Mm -hmm. Generally speaking, scripts at that level of development have a lot of issues, <coughs> but I think this one is pretty solid. The author obviously put a lot of work into the story, and the world building is also quite credible. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I know I was the one that handed you the script, but some of us haven't read it yet. No spoilers, please. Yeah, no spoilers. <laughs> anyway, the script calls for a team of four. Ah, yes. We're missing one final player right now. So, you're saying you'll help us out? I knew I could count on you, partner. Uh, of course, if Navia's included, I'm doing it. Is that okay? That's not a problem. I'll adjust the pace based on the actual number of players and ensure that everyone has a good time. Well, Traveler, what do you think? Wanna play? Paimon will follow your lead. Well, Dude. that solves our problem. Electro characters. We'll all Ooh, seem to be the grab the script manager from the club right away. <sighs> the That's nerdy right ones, okay? Here. If that makes Didn't sense. Like tabletop game games. The they were official. She basically a completely new kind of into for the script. cosplay and roleplay and whatnot. The game master's version of the script is incomplete. We raid and fucking shot in me. The next part of the script only trading card game edit. Current list of objectives. Uh, on top of that. In order Statue to collector on Sarah. The club has created some of the story sets and scenes in real life. We'll only know where we should go once the script manager reveals the starting location. It's fucking hilarious if you think about right. it. Whoever wrote this script really did put in a lot of work. <laughs> and it's got a real healthy amount of suspense, right? I mean, even the GM doesn't know how the story will end. <laughs> even the GM. I look forward to experience. Oh no. 
Why don't you go meet up with the others first? They should all be waiting at Chioria Boutique. I'll come over with the script manager Ooh. as soon as I find them. Please Sounds tell me good. we can see Chiori Remember for like a split seconds. I'm, and don't I'm happy, Moon. Uh, you say that like I'm six years old or something. <laughs> hmm. Let me think. What kind of character should I play this time? I just hope you'll pick up some useful skills this time. Oh, and stop trying to persuade every animal you come across. Silent Knight. Okay. Looks good so far. Oh no, it's Furina. Oh, of course it's her. Oh, sorry to keep you waiting. Oh my god, it's Lunity or something. You're back. Huh? And you've got the traveler and Paimon with you too. What a pleasant surprise. I assume you'll be joining us for the game then. But then we have five Furina at four, that makes no sense. Paimon didn't know you were playing too. Are you also members of the tabletop troop? Hmm. I'm more of a casual member, if anything. I haven't taken part in many formal club activities. Lynette Fremenet and I play something similar at the Hotel Bouffe Tete sometimes, but I'm usually the GM. Still, I'm sure it'll be fun being a player for the first time. I'm looking forward to it. So I guess Furina is the GM. Well, I'm not a member of the club at all. Cloran simply woke me up first thing this morning, said there was a good script worth experiencing, and asked if I wanted in. If you're interested, I can give you a referral. That should give you a 40% discount on membership fees. What the fuck? I think I'll wait to see how this experience what? plays out first. Huh? Especially when it comes to the quality of the script. If it's sufficiently fun, then I'll join. Do you participate in a lot of tabletop troop activities, Clarine? You could say that. The She's new Arconquest is ass. Thanks and good morning. Good morning, Adi. How's it going, buddy? Hope you're nice right. to I knew about that even when she was still my subordinate. Also, I have not seen it yet, it's so no spoiler. Thanks. Really, just a small hobby. I started with uh, the wow. cheerleader so story because the fact that you used this bitch. As a champion duelist, it's kind of hard to imagine you role playing with a bunch of friends. Surely you jest. I would never intentionally make <laughs> things difficult for my players. I maintain a clear boundary it's just between not my enough. professional and I mean, personal okay. lives. The me you see at court represents the law and order of Fontaine. I, I mean, considering you played it for four hours, my guy, I think four hours is a good time, honor. no? But in You're my so personal early, life, what the fuck? I'm just an ordinary person. Yeah. Someone who feels anger How are you sadness, up so early? just like everyone else. Um, well, slept four hours, that, then patch day. The time I've known you, I don't think I've ever seen you so, cry. Oh. Know. I've seen you get angry, sure, Tell me more about the twins. Stop giving me useless law. Do it, once again, Ali, I have not played it yet. No spoiler, okay? I was probably in work mode during those times. Also, it's not useless law so? if it's law. Keep well, in mind. in any case, I just feel like even in your personal life, you don't get emotional very often. So you want to see me cry? Isn't useless that law might be like a little difficult? A show of anger, though. Filler. That might be something yeah. I could accomplish. But I don't think it is filler, <laughs> considering it's an <laughs> Arkham Quest. No, that's not what I meant. It's going to be interesting, I would say. Why did the game make me pre-install then it's installing something else? What the fuck? I mean, pre-install is just for you to save time. Ah. Once the shit is Allow out, because once the shit is out, a lot more people will manager, download shit, so Mr. it's going to be slower. Also, if you have slow well. internet, having pre-download uh, is pretty neat. Uh, wait, are you a champion duelist too, it's Mr. downloading Florian? with 130 oh, no. fucking megabytes per second. I don't I think it's slow, but I'm up too early. Mm. I, my eyes are red, but like I got the coffee. <laughs> it doesn't matter. It's the least we can do to give the players a more immersive experience. Anyway, allow me to give you a brief introduction of the script. What time is it this for you now? This adapted from the real history of the Shosei Hunters. You oh, all will play the role of hunters from a bygone era and resolve I'm a series of events unfolding in the capital. Further, it's um, nine for me. Damn, okay. I'm not familiar with the history of the Shosei Hunters. Is that a problem? 
I mean, do you not have summer time? No problem at all. I can give you a brief rundown. Yeah. So, finishing school tomorrow. Yeah, but summer time, like time zone. Like summer time and normal time. Technique passed down over generations. Uh, when the clocks change. Their story yeah. can be traced back to the it ancient Lemurian for me, like, dynasty, as well as the first hunter, five Cassiodor. A month ago. But I'll leave the finer details for you to seek out. Should be like discover. three, but okay, fair then. Mm -hmm. And I'll provide additional commentary as the story progresses. It's exactly progresses. that a filler is case, definitely not a filler. I can't give it to you that hunters, much. Are you ready to set up on an unknown adventure? Is agreeing with me. Oh no, not the verifying. Fuck, I wanted to, uh, to be for Torim. Uh, uh, I see many a determined uh, gaze before now. Very well, head over to this location How long and begin your heroic the... journey. Uh, uh, so, as we follow the story, it leads um, it was to over at 4 a.m. roughly. Ooh, sounds pretty innovative. My time, so what like four and a half hours ago. Say? So five for it's me. Okay, okay. The exact location of the scene. So as four and well a half hours was the the most. Venue. Let's go. <laughs> Seems like they have everything prepared. Please They're check all your belongings, everyone. And apparently, and sure is now. A little Once bit easier ready, to get to. Please follow me to the was I at some concert, waited four years for some lore about the twins, and every day quest is not giving us new info about them. Dude, what info do you even want about them? We got new uh, day day sleep quest, what? Like, they are twins, nothing changed. Um, one of them is a descender, one of them is not a descender. We already know that. Um, the bad twin, depending on what you choose, tells you to explore, um, Tavat as you wish, and that's about it. Yeah, but if, uh, there are twins, why is one a descender and one is not a descender? Well, yeah, but that's like why? Abel's story, that's like coming at the very end, that's like saying now that's already like why that is, that would be bad. <laughs> Because then we don't have a reason to play for more one or two more years. And then she still has her sword because she kept it or he kept it, depending on what you did choose. And then they also have their original powers, which you don't. She didn't turn against us. She went or followed the Abyss Order and we know that already really because of Sumeru. Have you not played Kyrie Bear Quest, my guy? Like, what are you class? talking about? The like, it was explained in there. What's that? We were basically playing as the bad the twin there. We'll need to and use it when we, try to we literally know why. Like, and the trailer never the saw team? any Archon do anything. Because well? at that time, That's guess what? Message, Every then? Archon was like busy doing other bullshit. Really? For example, so Inazuma nice. didn't have Archon. Technically, like, Ray just got to the position, it was like completely fucked over. Then we had um, <laughs> Nahida basically fucking just got in the Archon role as well. And guess what? She put got put in jail instantly. She's like, okay. And because of Curry Bear Quest, we know he went there, didn't get an answer from the Dendro Archon. And then he joined... <laughs> Very or good. she joined, then depends on who you have, right? As the baddie. Joined the Abyss Order. First, we know that. Please pick because up character cards in she gave up on the hopes that the Archons are good people. Profession. Because none of the Archons you were like doing anything. Because, guess what? 500 years ago was like perfect timing for every Archon to be like story, completely fucking busy left and right. Hunter. Or missing like this, Venti. The club has prepared a small badge for everyone. About Venti? I don't even know. Ooh. No, he was missing. He didn't show up. He he as was hunters, undercover as a body. In swordsmanship and I guess. Default. So there's no need to allocate. And I don't know about Dong Li. What happened to him? But yeah, basically she went to four archons and saw no of these four archons do anything. So she gave up on the archons and went to the Abyss Order because she was like, okay, fuck the archons. Why don't you share it's it's that simple. Then. It's pretty much that simple. In fact, out of five and archons, only one assistant. actually helped us. About our twin is funny. Yeah. Kinda like in real life. So for the name, do I fill it out with the name of my character? Because the other ones yep. never saw them. <laughs> it can be any name you 
And the one we have is you basically Nahida. And she I is like basically just googling the fucking name. Oh, <laughs> so it would be so like if anybody that. knows or like knew about her, she has information life. for that. But, still but it makes yourself. sense though. Hmm. That's not a bad idea. So... Hmm. Jongli was missing, Venti was hiding, Nahida was fucking Lini, in jail. Next in, up in jail. Raiden was new and Furina was new. Yeah. No, Furina wasn't even a fucking Archon. I mean, she's still not an Archon. So she doesn't have really the power and the trailer wasn't even at that location. Like, she never went to that place. Jongli knows. She chose not to say anything because of a contract, yeah. Also, now we got con oh yeah, yeah, contracts for Jongli, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And Raiden basically so just saw her fucking together? sister get fucking killed. Not necessarily. And like, I don't know, Fortnite danced on, I guess. Team, so she was like crying her fucking eyes out, and use our skill points creating a fucking other useless ass skills. puppet in her fucking example, workspace, different and sleight of hand. place of realm or some shit. If we run into any and now the puppet has that issue, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, doesn't matter how you look at it, is that basically it's back then, so Archons couldn't do fucking shit, true. okay? Everyone A is still a garbage Archon, so nothing changed on that shit. Let me see. Until we um, went in there and told her, yeah, you fucking useless bitch, get your ass out of here. I'm not quite and then sure she only did because Nico showed up. Yeah. <laughs> the like, it's completely dumb as shit. Whatever. And the other, well. we're just not there, okay? Well, and Furina basically just learned. What do you want to learn? Shortly before of us, um, that we can, that she can talk via um, mental bullshit with other people that were like, you know, oh, so you having issues with some shit. And connect to them. How many descenders were before food. us? So four, five, four? Sure I think it was four in total. Which we know nothing of, right? Let's see. Uh, I think we know about one of them, oh, looks like you which should be Alice. To one final skill. And the rest, you I don't know. Uh, Clean mother. Yeah. It's fine to go a little bit out of the box, you know. I think she was the to send her. She's getting ready to cause trouble. For example. Oh yeah, well, here, where the fuck is she? Summer. If she's so fucking powerful. Doesn't it sound super mysterious? She's exploring cool? herself. So we don't know. Like she could be anywhere. But yeah, but she fucking trained uh, 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 child master. How's that exploring? I mean, she's writing the book for the exploration thing. I don't know what's called. <laughs> she's writing the book. How are we supposed to know yeah. what Mara shows the hunter can summon? Oh, that's not for us to worry about, my friend. Just learn the skills that interest you. And the GM will take Help care of the rest. Wish. Holy shit. <sighs> All right, you've convinced Paimon. Let's but yeah, Alice, then. I still Ready wanted to be fucking released finally, be man. Up. Alice, I will see six, Guaranteed. I, I don't give a fuck, man. We can begin. I'm already simping for her. Never seen her. Yes, I've been it. Yes. <laughs> Would you like to play on easy mode or authentic mode? Authentic mode, uh, easy. What's the difference between the two? So, well, in role playing games, the story C5, sometimes finally. changes based on the decisions of the players and the results of the fatality. Oh. For example, if you fail a check, that means you cannot use the target skill in that scenario. A critical failure may even result in further negative consequences. If you choose to play in authentic mode, Every time you elect to use a skill, you'll need to use the fatometer to see whether you succeed or fail oh and no. face any consequences. Wait, the fatometer, is that the thing that Luni gave us on Lynette's story quest? Every check will be successful <clears throat> by default. Wouldn't surprise and you me. Won't have to worry about because playing a factor. in D&D, people use, like, usually these shit ass dice that have, like, yeah, they exactly that shit. I knew it. I fucking knew it. Oh no. Okay, then for number two. Hmm. Fuck. Given that I'd like to focus on the story, oh I suppose I should pick easy mode. 
I'd feel bad if I brought the team <clears> down <throat> by failing my checks. Why is not early? Huh? Chef oh, at all, man. Okay. <laughs> Angie's the lifeblood of role-playing games. Never knowing what you might have to overcome. Ugh, doesn't that sound exciting? Um, I, I'd rather be mentally prepared for what might happen. All right, then I'll mark down for Rina oh for my. easy mode. All her checks will be successful by default. That As usual, really Navia okay. and Lenny will play on authentic mode. What about you, dear partner? Authentic mode? How would you like to play? Are you sure? Uh, yeah, yes, I'm sure. I want to get <laughs> fucked by RNG. That's gotta be fun. <laughs> you will see the beauty of RNG. Honestly, no. I don't think Lorand would make things too <laughs> difficult Navia. for us. No Fine, what okay, what I got her, sense. okay. Isn't that right, Clorand? <laughs> no problem. Now make it double. Uh, oh, that shit. wasn't super reassuring. Well, anyway, enough talk. Let's get started. I want to experience yeah. at least a good chunk of the story today. Speaking of the story, why is the and beginning scene too. on a beach? Well, that's because. <laughs> oh, no, comes. oh, Benny, okay. A long time ago. Oh my god. Oh my god, that's fancy. Oh my god. Infancy, powerful demons and evil sorcerers ruled over the land. They created a host of monsters and sent them to slaughter all humans in existence. Soon, a group of human rebels banded together. With their swords raised, oh they God, she made me do all my primos. Oh my days! Doing so, subdue each and every <laughs> monster that sought their destruction. Are you playing already? They became known. <laughs> I already got her. Yeah. <laughs> oh, nice, grits, dude. I saved up, and she made me use all of them. <laughs> Unfortunate man. I'm left with a hundred primos. <laughs> I mean, I don't have that much primos as well. I'm at like thousand something. Yeah, she, C1 Shishevrus and fucking C3 Toma. What the fuck? I don't even use them. Do you get a Setukaiba? If she gets crit rate, okay. Did you get a Seto Kaiba? Huh? A Seto. Setos? Yeah. Yeah. Nice, good show. Who the hell? A millennial for a C okay. He will be the only foster character I will probably not get in like a long time. Sometime later, as a member of the Mara Shose Hunters, you receive a commission. Following the address provided Wait, by the Mucha, you take a boat and arrive at this strange funny. city. I'm gonna do one, as you I inhale, one more pull you on, can taste on the slightly banner, salty cause... air of the docks as you begin to survey your surroundings. There aren't many people in yeah, the vicinity, but, so. but you do take note of a few okay. others who, like you, and seem to be sizing now up this is place. annoying me. Can I make your it go away? Meet, and you realize... These people are fellow Marashose hunters, likely led to this location after receiving the same commission as you. You're all Marashose hunters too, right? Allow me to introduce myself. The Dude, name's this is Navi, such a good art. Oh my god. And oh, the fucking raisin kept being sweet. Oh, oh shit. Let's say you to traveling together. Yeah, know. We can help each other out on the road. Yeah, I just... I, okay. I went to map and Count instantly... I knew something was wrong. My name is Lenny. I've been something wandering since off. I was little and picked up a few less than legal tricks okay, along the way. The I was adopted by a Mara Shose hunter and later Genshin chose to follow in his footsteps. In, in the, in uh, you this is so is nice. Is this where you introduce your character to everyone? It sounds like they've done this dozens of times. <clears throat> My name is Farina. Oh no, she's a bard. <laughs> I grew up in a noble family. I always had a strong interest in performance and the arts. Even What's though that? I'm oh. a Marsha Say What's hunter, that? what I that really so want cool. is to be a performing it's artist. Hey, that's really oh, that's cool. Really nice. Dude, these arts Karina. are so good. That's exactly how it's done. Paimon is Paimon, a good friend. 
Yeah, oh yeah. my god, that Paimon art is so cute as well. We used to be doctors, we used to be chefs. Oh no! Let's do the doctor. I've been studying medicine ever since I was a child. I want to do my part to eradicate Lumine speaking. monsters and use what I've learned. For a sentence? Lumine speaking, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, Welcome, welcome. When we face the monsters, I'll make sure to charge in front to give everyone some cover. You nah. can take care of the healing Why does he have glasses? <laughs> You open your envelopes at the same time. The message reads, To the honorable and trustworthy Mara Shosei Hunters, Oh my god, this is so good. Our kingdom is currently Dude, her quest is amazing crisis. so far. The lands outside the capital have been overtaken by monsters, and our people are being led astray by forces of wickedness. Oh my god, the best thing is we have more and stuff. It's so Please good. Please help us resolve this crisis <laughs> and return peace and stability to our home. Like, Moonshot is a perfect Wait, place to have a setting like that. Familiar. <gasps> it kind of reminds Paimon of Mondstadt. The script it is Moonshot. a real-world city as a reference Mondstadt. when coming up with the map. <clears throat> as experienced hunters, the layout of the city reminds you of places once traveled. You recall the sight of tree-lined streets and the gentle mm. tranquility of days gone by. Oh my god, this Yet, is amazing. I as love you this shit. The city in front of you, <laughs> it appears to be little more than an empty shell. Its hollow gates are open to you, beckoning you to come forth and bring salvation back to the town. I carefully read every line of the letter and turn my attention to the signatures at the bottom. Who issued this commission to us? You see a long string of unfamiliar names. It would seem that many of the residents of the city issued this commission together. They sensed that things were not right within the kingdom and sent a distress signal to the outside world. Hmm. In that case, why don't we take a walk around the city and see if we can learn anything from the local residents? Oh my god, this is fucking hilarious. Good idea. We might oh be able to get some Wait, there's a the chance. Guys were after. I get to see Fisher in bed. Mm. Please. A chance to get to see Fisher. Okay. I have to pray. No, she would be fitting so well into that scenario. Like, I mean, that's D&D, that that right? That's like role-playing. Dude, they're all role-playing, right? And who's the god of role-playing? My wife. It, it, <laughs> it just fits. No, it's just good. Okay? Mona fits as well. Because, keep in mind, Mona is like um, a mage, right? She, she looks As like the most the tavern, standard, basic-ass mage you can find. Woman like, nearby. this is good. She appears to be rather troubled about something. Okay, Clorin basically stole their fucking seed. Greetings, <laughs> <friend>. <laughs> oh, Hello, never mind. They changed today, it again. Don't you think? Good. Oh, Hello. I suppose you're right. The weather today is quite lovely. If only those monsters out there would stop causing trouble. It seems like every character included in the script has a certain amount of useful information to offer. Mm -hmm. If we keep asking questions, we might be able to get some good leads. Oh, come now. Don't be sad. Life is all about optimism. Oh, that reminds me. What did you have for breakfast this morning? Uh, huh? Huh? <laughs> uh, I don't think that's the kind of question we're supposed to ask. Nothing okay, turns a frown upside down like good food. How about some macarons? I could make you some. You didn't even take cooking as one of your skill proficiencies. Uh, that's not necessary, miss. Excuse me for saying this, but you don't really look like a chef. Besides, I'm not really a fan of sweets. So you're someone who barely smiles and doesn't like sweets. Hmm. You're really starting to remind me of this one friend of mine. <laughs> uh, hey! Did you just... <laughs> me? <laughs> Clorian must have broke character for a second. <laughs> oh, no. This isn't getting us anywhere. Um, Traveler, maybe you can think of something. How about I cook something right here, right now? Are you sure? Positive. In that case, 
Please refer to the fatometer. Oh no, fatometer. Oh no. I need an aid. Oh no. Fuck, where are we going? 19. Nice, nice, nice. I won. We get good cooking. Lumine's oh, cooking. Lumine's cooking. She's cooking. Better you cook. remain silent as you prepare a pot and fire to use for cooking. Oh my god. The woman stares at you with her mouth agape as you skillfully cut the ingredients and toss them into the pot. Deep After deep some deep. time, a rich aroma begins to fill the air. Even a passing cat deep can't help but stop cat. in its tracks and look up in anticipation. Please have some food. No, oh no. my god! Maybe nah, you'll man. feel better after eating something delicious. Whoa, that's amazing. Wait, so as long as you pass the check, you can pretty much do anything? And it won't be seen as absurd? Oh, thank you. Oh, you were right. This food really did make me feel better. So what had you so worried earlier? Could you tell us a bit more about it? Uh, oh. Okay, let me fill you in. How to get information? Just cook for them? monsters suddenly appeared near the capital recently. So all the guards were dispatched to fight them. Do you remember when those monsters appeared? Uh, I'm not completely sure. All I know is that my husband was dispatched to fight them three days ago. Do you know where he was sent? It all happened so fast. When we said our goodbyes, he couldn't even tell me where they were sending him. You have our thanks, friend. We'll find and defeat those monsters as soon as possible. We sincerely hope your husband will be able to return to your side soon. Oh, thank you. Dude, Don't worry. this is so good we'll so far. I really him. like it. Just try to remain optimistic and wait for good news. We don't always get to choose what happens to us. But we do get to choose the little things like what we eat and how we respond to the things life throws our way. I hope that one day, you too will recognize the power of something as small and inconsequential as a delicious dessert. I... <laughs> I'll do my best. I'll do my best. You <laughs> bid farewell to the woman, and continue your journey further into the city. Dove Resurrection activated. Ooh. As you venture further into the city... <clears throat> The streets appear largely empty. An elderly woman walks past. You see her shake her head as she puts away her wrinkled wallet. A nearby merchant folds his arms and gives you a disdainful look. You get the impression that he's someone who has long gotten used to the sight before him. Oh my god, who looks at us? seem very friendly. Merchants are usually a good source of information, right? Pardon me, sir. I'd like to ask a question if I may. That depends. How much are you willing to pay? How about this much? Dude, it's so nice. <laughs> Clarence's fake voice is Some so good. Lowly beggar. <laughs> you can't even buy half an onion with that amount. Surely an onion can't be that expensive, right? Eh, what do you know? War is nearly upon us. Everything costs several times what it did before. If you're not gonna buy anything, then scram. Whoa, what a nasty guy. Maybe we shouldn't even bother talking to him. Hmm, but he still might have information we need. Uh, Traveler, oh, no. can you think of something? <laughs> Persuade him, Navia. Oh my fucking god. Lenny, you are free now. Put on a performance. Okay, it's Navia's time. Sir, we came to the city to solve the very problem you seem to be referring to. The war you mentioned. Uh, would it happen to be against the monsters outside the city? If you happen to be well informed and know a thing or two about what's going on, 
We'd appreciate it if you could share that information with us. Dude, that Navi art is so beautiful. The sooner this problem gets resolved, the easier it will be for you to do your business. They could make that a skin. I wouldn't mind it. I would probably get it. Navia got a good card. Nice chill. I'm proud of you, Navia. <laughs> well, things are basically as you said, young lady. Those monsters are camped outside the city, and they've been destroying all our trade routes. We have limited reserves within the city, so if this continues, we're all gonna be in big trouble. Wait, you're saying no one has put a plan in place to distribute supplies or maintain order? <laughs> We could all starve, and those nobles in the palace wouldn't even break a sweat. The nobles Who in the knows? palace, oh no. Maybe they've been in cahoots oh, with the monsters no. all along. <clears throat> it could be Fischl. Angle again. All right, all right. That's all the information you need, right? Off with you now. I've still got you business wish, to do. You wish. Dude, I'm you know, so hoping, man. I'm. You smiled <laughs> a little more. You definitely I'm in insane cope mode. I don't and give I a fuck, man. make your life just a little bit sweeter. I'm not saying it's guaranteed to work. It's just a tip. Like they gave they give the setting, okay? The setting fits well. Then on top of yeah, that yeah. they be we like go somewhere with more people? Um something something oh. How about the, the, the important people of the city they have all the things to say and it's like yeah. Official princessin, it's just Before fitting, you okay? The city central square. You see a man with a slightly anxious look on his face. Pacing back and forth, his head hanging low. He doesn't seem to notice your approach. Still immersed in his own thoughts, he shakes his head and lets out a long sigh. Ah. Huh. Huh. This guy seems promising enough. Maybe I can get some information out of him. Sir, is there anything I can do to help you? Uh, wait, you're. Uh, I'm. I'm. Oh, dear goodness, you're. You're a Mara Chose hunter! You recognize us? Ah, are you one of the people who wrote the commission letter? Yes, yes! Oh, I didn't expect you to actually come. Oh, what great news. The city is saved. What happened here? Alas, we once lived comfortable, carefree lives. This city used to be free of monsters. The first Mara Chose hunter, Cassiodor, the golden hunter, he was the one who drove them back. Uh, however, monsters have once again surrounded the city. Perhaps the seal that kept them at bay has lost its power. Or perhaps an evil sorcerer has been meddling in our affairs. Uh, all I know for sure is that their return has stripped this city of any chance at peace. Are there not enough soldiers to Anyone drive them out? <laughs> it's not a question of numbers. The guards simply have no idea how to deal with them. Most people my age have never even seen one of the monsters, much less been trained to fight against them. Uh, what's worse, many of us don't even know the history of the Mara Chose hunters anymore. When I was a child, though, my grandfather would tell me stories about how the Mara Chose hunters drove back the monsters. So, on the off chance that something might come of it, I decided to reach out to you. To be perfectly honest, I was starting to think all those stories were just tall tales. But now that I've seen you in person, I finally know that it was true! Well, you can rest easy, friend. The righteous and formidable Mar Chose hunters are on the case. The man is touched by your determination and resolve. His eyes begin to well with tears of relief. Still, if we are going to hunt the monsters, we need to know where to find them. Can you give us any leads? Uh, all I know is that the area outside the city is dangerous. I'm afraid I can't point you toward a specific location. Oh, although, if you leave the capital through the main gate and follow the road, you should run into a group of guards. They might know more about where to find the monsters. I see. We'll go look for them then. All right, be careful. Oh, and one last thing. 
The monsters outside the city are just part of the problem. There are evil sorcerers inside the city as well. So be on your guard. Evil sorcerers. They're oh, actively no. working with the monsters and have corrupted the court ministers with malicious magic. Evil sorcerers. They're the reason why he's even inside the Image. city. Image. Mona. Everything has been a giant mess. Once again. Even one of our kindest ministers has turned into a boorish and unreasonable figure. Interested in nothing but enacting laws that exploit the people. Uh, who knows how much longer we'll be able to go on like this. Talk about being stuck between a rock and a hard place. Hmm. I feel bad for him. Maybe we should try to cheer him up? Maybe I could sing him a song. Uh-huh. Like, now? Is this really the right time? I appreciate your kindness, but for now, it's more important to focus on the crisis at hand. Brave hunters, uh -huh. <laughs> I leave the future of this kingdom to you. Damn. No Farina singing. Unlucky. Dude, this quest is a fucking banger. But they had the opportunity to put in like Fischl and Mona and they just didn't. So I don't know. Two out of ten. Say where the, I understood see where the fuck we are there now. Are oh, we are back. problems in the kingdom that need solving, right? Exactly. We need to defeat the monsters outside the city and take down the evil sorcerer, stirring up trouble from within. Hmm. But which problem should we tackle first? Well, this seems like a good moment for a break. Take some time and discuss what you want to do. Let me know when you've made your decision. <sighs> I really didn't expect the people in the city to keep us at arm's length like that. I totally thought the hunters would be treated like heroes. Well, Clarence said the script took cues from the real history of Fontaine, right? Maybe the real-life Morrow shows say hunters were also treated like that. I wouldn't say it's a perfect representation of history, but there are definitely some similarities. Would you like to hear more about it? Mm, sure. As long as it doesn't spoil anything in the script. You've brought up bits and pieces of the hunter's history before, but it was all in passing. Paimon wants to know too! The hunters were super powerful, right? Were they all from a special line of supernatural beings or something? Kind of like the yokai in Inazuma? Oh no, yokai in Inazuma, uh, no. of course. All Marashose hunters were ordinary mortal fighters. The only thing that set them apart were the special sword techniques passed down over the centuries. Huh? So you mean anyone could become a Marashose hunter? In theory, yes. All you would need to do is survive the rigorous training and master the swordsmanship techniques required to fight the monsters. Still, most people dropped out at the early stages. And others called it quits the minute they saw a monster in person. To become a hunter, you must be strong in both body and mind. What kind of monsters did the hunters fight exactly? Oh, and the evil sorcerer the script mentions. Did they exist in real life too? The land of Fontaine once played host to an ancient dynasty known as Remuria. <laughs> Remuria, oh no, not again. After that dynasty again. fell, monsters began to appear, intent on obstructing humans from establishing a new social order. One of the ancient sorcerers of Remuria used his power to assemble a formidable army of golems. He sought to use that force to establish himself as king. Uh, now wait a second. Don't tell me <laughs> that guy was the inspiration for the evil sorcerer in the script. We still haven't found any in-game information on him yet. In-game so, information. Why don't you talk about someone else for now? Well, I wasn't planning on going into anything you might be able to Navia find out. Navia doesn't want the spoiler. But if you want me to talk about something else, then how about Cassiodor, the Golden Hunter, or Egeria, the ex hydro Archon? Egeria, that sounds interesting. Those people are all from a super long time ago. Where did you learn all this 
Aquarian? From my master. <laughs> From my master? Huh. By master? You mean Miss Petronia? Oh, to someone you know? Absolutely. Miss Petronia and my father were good friends. Back in the day, she would often bring Clorand over to play, but then... Uh, let's not get off topic. Anyway, back to what I was saying. Responding to Egeria's call, a number of warriors followed Cassiodor into battle against the monsters. This group of warriors, <laughs> under Cassiodor's leadership, became known as the Marachose Hunters. Yet... As Fontaine entered an era of peace, the their work gradually became obsolete. The Marachose Phantom, originally an association made up of hunters, eventually came to be predominantly comprised of Melusines. Ah, I see. That explains why most of the people in the script have forgotten the hunters or think of them as nothing more than a legend. Is that really a bad thing, though? It can get tough always being the one shouldering everyone's expectations. Hmm, depends on who you ask, I suppose. If the name of the organization no longer commands respect, investigative work is bound to suffer. Hmm, speaking of investigations, which problem should we tackle first? Monsters or evil sorcerer? I vote monsters. That's the main duty of the hunters, right? We can come back to the sorcerer later. The source one seems well said, to be Ms. more Marina. like an end boss. Plus, so if probably the sorcerers good idea. really are the masterminds behind this whole thing, defeating the monsters could give us some clues on their intentions as well. Hmm. What about you, partner? What do you think? Source problem seems pretty important. Hmm. I mean, everybody wants monsters. I would take it's monsters decided, too. It's decided then. All right. After some discussion, you decide to turn around and head out of the city. Head out of the city. Does that mean we are outside of Moonshot now? Or are we in a different location now? Imagine we are now in Sumeru. That would be so fucking weird. No, it's the Moonstadt. Let's take a look around, like that guy said. You there, outsiders, halt! Wh who's there? An armored man approaches you. He has a tall, muscular build and a determined expression in his eyes. Just one look, and you can tell he's fought in his fair share of battles. Although he's trying his best to conceal his current state, his uneven gait and the sweat dripping down his forehead make it obvious that he's been wounded and is in serious pain. I'm the captain of the guard. I saw you sneaking around the city earlier, so I'll only ask this once. State your purpose, or it's off to the dungeons for the lot of you. To the dungeons? Oh no. Not the sex dungeon. Wow, it's been a while since someone's been this suspicious of us. <laughs> I said talk, not whisper between yourselves. <clears throat> uh, have you ever heard of the Marchese Hunters? Marachose Hunters? <laughs> that fairy tale, you mean? What, do you expect me to believe you're one of them? I would like to do a medicine check to see if I can help him. Oh god. Oh no, but card to attack. 17. Nice, nice, nice. I saved his ass. I'm so good. Using your knowledge of medicine, you're able to deduce that the injury on his calf was a monster's doing, and the wound has already begun to fester. As you check him over, he looks at you with suspicion, 
and retracts his injured leg further back. I'm a doctor by trade. Ooh. Please let me redress your wound. You don't have to suffer like this. The man appears somewhat disgruntled at having been exposed, but soon relents and raises his leg for you to take a better look. Dr. Lumine. He allows you to apply a poultice Amazing. of specialized medicine to the wound, and it appears to bring him much relief. The tension in his brow eases. Oh, right. Guess you lot might actually be real Marachose hunters after all. In any case, you've successfully treated my wound. <laughs> it's so illogical, so, I like it. What do you want to know? Do you know where we can find the monsters or the other guards who are fighting them? He informs you of the various locations where monsters have appeared. He looks in that general direction with a pained gaze. As if a thin, invisible thread is pulling on his wound. Some of our new recruits have never even dealt with a petty thief. And now they're out there fighting monsters. Ugh, if it weren't for this cursed leg. Oh, please, sir. Don't get too worked up. You need to focus on your recovery. Just okay, leave the, the monsters to us. We're Marshall say what hunters, boss? after all. Let's see Hearing you say that... Oh. A glimmer of hope Glory flashes in his it. eyes. <clears throat> but yeah, yeah. it disappears almost easy. as quickly as it came. Those monsters aren't easy to deal with. Fire, cryo, or dendral, just destroy. I won't stop you either. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I just, I just hope all the guards will be able to come back <laughs> to their families alive. I wish you the best of luck. Since he's the only one that does damage. I guess. The Rex 2. Said the monster should be right up ahead. Let's go. Hopefully, we're not too late. As you approach the battlefield, <clears throat> you see numerous <clears throat> people lying by the side of the road. They appear to be dressed like guards. Their faces are filled with desperation and terror. Some are screaming and cursing in vain. As if still trying to banish the monstrosities they saw from their minds. A few of the wounded look up at you in shock and disbelief. Quick, Wait, no, I need leave more, this more place. Starfish. Turn around and don't look back, they yell. Okay. Wait, is this oh is God. the place he mentioned, right? You see broken iron swords scattered all around you, and downed trees riddled with terrifying claw marks. All the signs point to one thing. A truly devastating battle just took place here. Door for direction. Be on your guard, everyone. The monsters might still be around. Before you can finish your sentence, you Ooh. hear rustling sounds from the surrounding bushes. <clears throat> Enemies the monsters have emerged. <gasps> they close in on you without fear. You get the impression that, in their bloodthirsty eyes, you're just another meal for them to devour. <gasps> A little help here! This thing wants to eat Paimon! <laughs> the battle <laughs> round <laughs> begins <laughs> now. No, man, that's so fucking amazing. Combat check. Oh my god, I need aid. 16, yes! I won again. There's no losing in this one. The next battle round begins now. Dude, this is so fucking amazing. Holy shit. 
The monsters let out a terrifying roar of anger and resentment. And I got him dog. Dissipating into thin air. Oh, thank goodness it's over. We're lucky the Marashose Hunter class came with all those preset skill points. Otherwise, we would have been in some real trouble. Skill points. I never knew the Phytometer even determines the amount of damage you inflict. If you get unlucky, isn't it just game over right then and there? <laughs> what? Uh, <laughs> that's part of the fun. The uncertainty of fate is what gives these games their appeal. Just as you begin to celebrate your victory, a suspicious lump on the ground catches your attention. That's not a lump. A suspicious lump? Wait, could it be the thing that appears after every battle? A chest? I walk up to it, crouch down, and begin to carefully examine it. I've still got my right glove on, so it should be fine for me to touch it, right? As you investigate the mound, you discover that the exposed portion appears to be made of wood. It was previously obscured by the large form of the monsters. With the monsters gone, the small protrusion now awaits your discovery, poking out of the ground like a shy flower bud. Whoa, it's a treasure chest! Let's dig it up! Again, loading. <laughs> Reminder that there are Twitch drops, by the way. Oh, yeah, yeah I, I saw that, yeah. Good, good. Ah, oh, fuck, man, it's getting super bright right now. I have to wait until the load screen's over. With everyone's help, you successfully excavate the wooden chest from the ground. Wait back a second. Better. Even without opening it, you can tell from the mora and jewels scattered around the chest that it must contain quite the fortune. Makes sense! We worked hard for this. Let's open it! We can share what's inside! <laughs> I can understand your excitement, Paimon, but think about it. Doesn't it seem like there are people out there who need this treasure more than us? Yeah. Think about all the people suffering in the capital. Or all those all guards the who got suffering. hurt fighting the monsters. I'm suffering too. I need the money. Wouldn't it be better <laughs> if we gave the treasure to them? <coughs> Wait, is that how it works? Hyman thought since we were the ones to dig it up, we could just take it for ourselves. Well, let's put it this way. Any decision you make during a role-playing game can impact the future course of the story. But... Would the people really believe us? It's hard enough for us to prove we're Marsha Say hunters. What if they think we procured the treasure illegally? They might get even more suspicious of us. That's definitely something we should consider. Maybe we can come up with an explanation in advance. Well, if donating it could cause that much trouble, why don't we use it to buy some gear and fill up with good food? With then we'll be ready to fight even more bad know. guys. Looks like um, you're facing a probably some dental stuff. Again. Like that's what well, it's I hear at least. Why don't we My call highest level the dental character is fucking cold. She's fucking wow. level 50. Where's the time Oh no. 
<laughs> Why not MC? I'm not sure if it's because I'm having so much fun with you all or because the story is particularly enticing. But well, that's gonna I be feel tough like I could then. almost keep going. I guess Overlord would here, work too, here. but I don't think you have Overlord too. Ooh, how about we play through Overlord? the night? What should I use? Uh, oh, um, I'm uh, not sure I have say have Official. And yeah, I guess that won't work for me either. Lynette will give me an Toma? earful if I get I don't home know, too late. I don't Something off you, Pyro, yeah, ideally. We have to change venues for the next part of the story anyway. Huh? Another location? Mm-hmm. There's a special Toma. note for the GM at Fuck. the end of this section that says oh, I can to use proceed the to an indoor set for the next part of the script. Whoa. Pyro every now and then. Really okay. out all the stops for this new script. Well, even okay. if we end the oh. game for the day, we can still stay a little longer and hear Clarion finish her story, right? Prima wants to hear more about the history of the hunters. Hmm, something tells me you just want to finish the free desserts before we break for the day. Th that's just a coincidence, okay? Besides, to Prima not finishing free food feels even worse than having to buy her own. And anyway, Paima really does want to hear more about Cloran's master. Well... If the story doesn't have a happy ending, <laughs> it's okay not to finish it. Uh, it's nothing. I feel like they nerfed her. I appreciate the concern, Ooh. but it's all in the past. It won't do any harm Chlorine to share these things now. Chlorine, she, she, she's... Uh... What do you mean nerfed? She can, just came out. No, no, she... she... She's not as big as before. My earliest <clears throat> memories oh, you mean that nerf? According yeah. to her, she ah, saved me I don't know. People of ill repute. She was never that massive. My birth parents had left Just that the button is like before. overworking. <sighs> what <a heavy laughs> no, it's still, <laughs> it, it, it still is. <laughs> Master was a fascinating individual. If inexperienced in the ways of raising Our children. Animation, so cool, what the My fuck? first ever toy was a short sword. Although I suppose it wasn't so much a toy as something Master removed from the waist and handed to a noisy child in need of distraction. Oh wait, so she handed an actual sword to a child? Isn't that dangerous? Did you hurt yourself? <laughs> of course I did. What the fuck? You can't I cut my palm and bled quite okay. a lot. But Master was not concerned. She just stood oh, there yeah. and casually lectured me about it. See? That's what you so get for not flex. holding the sword properly, yeah. she told me. She then crouched mm -hmm. down next to me hmm. and said, Give me your hand. I'll teach you to bandage this wound. After that, it's time to learn how to truly hold a blade. Excuse me for asking this, Clorand, but um, how old were you exactly when all this happened? What would be better on her? Probably around... The black sword uh, or... Three. Give or take. The other battle uh, three? I got both. Isn't that when most kids are still struggling to hold a fork? Uh, As I said, I'm not Master sure. was rather inexperienced One in the ways of raising on children. Basics she believed on trial like and effect. error was the best way to teach a child what they're capable of. Yeah, the other, and the other I'm one on skill so and sure ultimate shit. Yeah, and the other... Uh, I didn't see anything wrong with her ways at the time. Skill and bird. And... Anyway, yeah. 16. children don't get to and choose how they're raised. By two. Oh, she Max did bring me back a pet from Liyue once. It was a Geobishop hatchling. I don't know exactly how hatchling? she works. I don't know, the, the other one seems dangerous. better on my Atto. What she said was this. Make sure like, if the weapon, the new if Fontaine, really agree on they just call it a Fontaine, with a fight. battle pass Whoever weapon, uses is the real pet. works with uh, skill and um, ultimate, giving bonus crit rate, then yes, that one's probably better. Five. Otherwise, well, yeah. Did she win? Oh, she's level fifty. No, I lost. So and you're saying you actually became no, she, the Geo Bishop's pet? And <laughs> yes. She's sixty. But only for a week. Rate, one By the end of that week, I defeated already. it in combat, and we've shared a cordial relationship With ever since. With two artifacts, by the way. <laughs> that really doesn't sound like the kind of childhood someone should have. Why the fuck Later is Clorind fighting a Geo Bishop with the age of five? Any other way to raise a child? She was a Mara Chose hunter, but I never heard her bring up her own parents. Thanks to her, I learned how to navigate the forest by the age of six, and could hunt monsters in the wild by myself the year after that. Oh my God, she's Even completely fucked up. Even though the training she subjected me to was strict, 
She always made sure to take me traveling when she had the time. We met many of her friends during those days. That was also how I met Mr. Callus and his family. What do... <laughs> I still remember the first time we met. You were too scared to join our okay, picnic well, and hid behind Ms. Petronia the okay. whole time. <laughs> I still hadn't really met many children my age at that time. So I didn't know how to interact with others. After that, though, you started coming over a lot. You love challenging people to shooting competitions, remember? My god, now there's a beauty. Many members of the Spina ever beat you in one of those. Mm -hmm. I had a lot of fun during those days. <laughs> I enjoyed them too. Oh, do you remember that one time we went exploring around the Spina together? We overheard Papa call your master Fontaine's Oh, I should explore with her. She justice. shows me where the stuff is we on the map. Oh, like oh, we yeah. never heard anything, but you oh, no. nearly let it slip that one time. <laughs> Party set up quick. Protector of justice. Oh, wait, you mean that vigilante hero from 20 years ago? The one who was always active at night? <coughs> yep, that would be her. She often would put on a black cloak and go out at night. I never knew where she went or what she was doing. Until, like Navia said, we overheard the truth from Mr. Callus that night. 20 years ago, huh? I still remember the guards leaving all kinds of witness reports about her at Nervalette's death. Well, I fucking missed. Ah, uh, my apologies. Oh, <laughs> there's no need to apologize. You had nothing to do with it. And anyway, everything she did was for a good cause. Although, calling herself the protector of order was a bit much. Especially when she deliberately operated outside the law. Huh? When did the protector of justice Shavo, become the you protector got 85 of order? Quick, right? how, how did you miss two quits in a row? Names. Hello? I heard she would just come up with mm, a what? name on the spot whenever she was asked. She's got 85 quits right and Later she missed on, two in a row. Later on, she probably got sick of answering those questions yeah, and I know. decided to stick to just um, two. My action the did the same on 77. And the she was like, order. not critting three times in her wall, was like, okay, like fuck right. this shit. More crit than it is. She forgot which of the two she <laughs> yeah. used. And then she had 96 and I was like, hmm, no, start to miss crits now. And she still missed crits sometimes. This game is a fucking piece of shit, you know that? So I got a glad piece with pyro damage bonus. It's true. Mm. I always percent to become rate and EM. That's like someone powerful, perfect independent, for our Latino. and with a strong sense of conviction. Somewhat, yeah. But, but I'm gonna send it to my friend so I make mm. him mad because he doesn't have a pyro she piece yet. She <laughs> suddenly disappeared the night I turned ten years old. I mean, my pyro oh, yeah. gobies are kind of dog shit too. I have the good Maybe one on. I have, no I have the good one on Yoimiya, and the rest is like she whatever. Didn't leave a note. I was never able to find out where she went. That night, I was celebrating. You can also give it Navia's to house. Jungling if you want to use her. So. Master never came to pick me up. Uh, yeah, I could. When I returned home on But then own, you would be using Jungling, so that's a downgrade, I guess. And she still didn't appear after a few days. I went to Mr. Callus's house to ask about her whereabouts. Uh, after you're done with your he quest, shook his head. are you gonna do something Papa else? Papa probably didn't know either. Um, probably the main quest, I know quest, he sent why? a few people to investigate I the matter in secret, some but they never found oh, any yeah, credible yeah. leads. Oh, yeah, you can do that then. Oh, okay. But I don't know how long it would take. Don't worry, uh, if it, honest, take, if it takes too long, I'm gonna way of start doing, doing some math problems. It all made a lot of sense. I need to do them for today. If I had to guess, Works I'd too. say she probably used it as an opportunity to force me to become independent. Just like how, when a litter of kittens reaches a certain age, the mother willingly leaves them I behind. Because I do, I do extra work to were, get into university. Were so. you upset, Clorand? I was at first, but not anymore. I don't believe Master would suddenly disappear for no reason. There must have been something she just had to do. Well, despite everything, you still managed to follow in her footsteps and become the greatest champion duelist in all of Fontaine. You're practically a living symbol of law and justice. <laughs> I suspect my position would be far too by the books for her. Master always did whatever she I'm pleased. Hoard my but primos again. <laughs> you're right. 
I suppose I do take after her in some ways. Dude, Primus is gonna be so fucking terrible for me. Had such an well, uh, past. Apparently, allegedly, had it's 10k free pre pre uh, pre 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 update, so. If Glorian's master were the champion I mean, that's not enough. Then, it's 66 pulls. Would that duel against Mr. Callus have gone That's not pain? enough. Oh, no. I'm struggling. Judging by the atmosphere, what the hell did you, you, you need to think like something similar. similar? Yeah, so and Emily. Super awkward all of a sudden. Is she a five star? Yeah. Well, she doesn't anyway. look like one. Are you dumb in your fucking head? How should she not look, look like a five star man? It's oh my god, do I hate as well? Oh no, I'm surrounded by haters. If we keep talking oh like no. This, we really will be here all night. Dude, she had such a fucking amazing I design. Everybody's like, oh yeah, yeah, I like her design. Thank you for being our GM. She, I don't know if she, if she looks... Hot. The script was good, but I've got to say... Hot, that's the word. You're looking... Oh, she's looking better. hot. Hey, you should tell us more about that fight against you know, the Geo. I like her sometime. design. Maybe I just you know, think she would be a fight, so I don't know. She, she doesn't look like one to me. <laughs> yeah, she, but she is. You could be right. Burning subtitles. What does she mean? On to something. I certainly don't know For any me, it was like who want to fight uh, a bishop fucking, in their spare time. Uh, what's Guess her name? I'll head back as well. Um, I need to save my energy if I want to continue back enjoying the story tomorrow. With the skin or something. You're that know. excited to hear about my fight with the bishop? I was talking about the script. I fucking die! Okay. Hey, what do I need for level 70? How how do I make this disappear? How? I don't know. Um, just between the uh, two. So of my us, Bennett is now C6. Could you tell I, me what it was like to be me. the Geo Bishop's pet? It was nothing special, really. Geo Bishops don't understand the concept of a pet. So basically, it just headbutted me whenever I entered its territory. And that hurt? <laughs> yeah, it hurt. What, something you want to experience for yourself? Oh, <laughs> I'm good. Thanks. What the f fun? Oh my god, Clorinth is a retard. It's fucking insane. No, she's not. She's absolutely fucking mentally ill. No, oh she's my not. God. Dude, she let herself with the age of five getting headbutted. By fucking geo bishops, and she was the pet of one. Nah, man. Nah, man. I'm nah. <laughs> she's mentally ill. Like she's completely. She's like me. Yeah, sure. <laughs> so your dog is basically your owner, and you are the dog of your dog or some shit. Like this is how it goes, okay? Except that it's a fucking geo bishop, and he's beating your fucking ass up, while I don't know, man. You're just going into his area or some shit. So she wanted to pet a Geo Bishop? No, she had to fight one of them bitches. And the winner would be... Uh, the... The other one would be the pet, the loser, okay? And apparently she lost. So, oh. so she was the pet to the Geo Bishop for a week. And then she beat him. You know how I imagine that going? I don't want yeah, to know, probably. You know the skit with KK and I pet that dog? Yeah, pretty much like that. That's her. Yeah, pretty much. That's like, yeah, that's that's uh, very fitting, okay? Very fitting. <laughs> if my boy <laughs> in the chat doesn't except, know about it, except, it wasn't the dog, it was a bear. <laughs> yeah, except that there's no parents that protect her from the bear, okay? So basically, she was like, oh, cool, a bear. Let's fight it. And people be like, yeah, that's normal. That's fine. Keep going. She pet the dog, man. <laughs> what the fuck is this shit? What day do you have? The fifth. Okay, in two days. Next morning, 8 to 10. Let's go. Oh, I messed up. Oh no. Something you wish to report? Let's go meet up with the group! Paimon's really looking. 
What the fuck are we going? Oh my god. The most fucking out of place place they could find. Is that a fucking randomized domain in here? Oh my god, it is. <laughs> of course it is. It, it has to, to, make, to make you play as her. Now, the thing is, um, Novelette, for example, you could not test him in his story. There are a few characters that have the shit lately. Final Quest 2 as well. Mm, the second one you did play. No, oh, no. The, the first one you, you played as him, no? Yeah. But the second one you didn't. Well, it's the second one. Doesn't matter. Looks like everyone's here. Now, before we begin, why don't we finish where we left off yesterday? There was an important decision to be made, yes? I'll pour everyone a cup of tea. Um, uh, is there really a the character that part, needs an attack I'm circle? I'm more concerned about what? our current is there a character that needs Heavy an walls, attack circle? Attack hat. Jean, Charlotte. I admire the work put into the set. Stuff like that. I'm locking. I'm locking Still, these names. it's obvious the scriptwriter has never paid a visit to the Not very many America. though, but so the there are ones that exist. Be a part of the script? Unfortunately, bonus that points if it has ER and crit rate. <laughs> yeah, no, it has good damage and crit rate. <laughs> style is starting to look kind of scary. <clears throat> <laughs> well, whatever happens, we'll just have to push on. But first, we should really figure out what to do with this treasure. I didn't do her mm. If we're worried about arousing suspicion because of our identity, why don't we give ourselves a different name, just like Clorance Master did? So, Bond of Life. Yeah, it might be better to keep a low profile. As long as we're helping people, it doesn't matter who we are or what we're called. She has a weapon? Um, she does. Staring at She's me won't get you set. anywhere. Or She's did you want some more tea? 71, 150, oh, 135. Uh, Intellectual damage bonus. 2.2k. Oh no, that's like 1.9k attack because it's too pyro. That's not. Oh, that's this is okay. the short sword Cloran mentioned last night. I found it. Oh no. Huh. I'm surprised you managed to track it down after all this time. Well, I made sure Maybe I just built different. It. Holy shit. Considering the circumstances <laughs> in which you so to me. Clean, oh my god. Of course I had to keep it safe. Anyway, where were we? Oh, right. I was just thinking about all the potential ways for us to break out of prison. We could dig a tunnel or try to bribe the guards. Wait, we haven't <coughs> been thrown into prison yet, have we? It will happen. Well, it's only a matter of time. It pays to be prepared. Just like how you should always have an umbrella on hand, even when it's sunny. All right, Paimon's made up her mind. Let's just give the treasure away. Let's yeah, just give the treasure away. Fuck the treasure. Paimon doesn't want it anymore. Paimon's fucked up. Oh, she deals a lot with her burst. Okay. In the test run, it felt like that too. Maybe they shadow buffed it. Because before that it looked like it does piss poor damage. Or maybe just I don't know, weird. No, she did a lot to the ruin guard, but where she had her set, her weapon. Mm. She had 2.2k attack with 71 160 stats. With the ER and um electro damage bonus. She had Gugu stats that uh, she did that. Uh Alone with no support, I didn't use So, them. you've reached an agreement? All right, then. We can but continue with the to. story. <laughs> mm. Oh, and we'll collect all the scattered pieces of treasure on the ground but as I'll, well. I'll do it again with support. All right. Though I don't know how to use the team. You collect the treasure and make your way back to the capital with your bag of loot in hand. Time for more story. So, how do I use the Shaver team? I hold her E, um, then Toma Shield. You do something with Electro, so based, I would say probably uh, Chlorine E. I don't know what her cooldown is, so I would probably say Chlorine E. 
then you use a pyro character. It, it it must be somebody else that has to do the reaction set of Chevrous. So I would say probably like a second pyro character. Let's say I don't know Benny, Toma, whoever the oh, fuck you okay. use. Okay, so Chevy E, then I switch to Fischl, then Toma E, then back to uh, Chlorine to fucking. The city no. is still shrouded in a gloomy, um, oppressive atmosphere. The way um. But your spirits works. are surprisingly high. You have to hold her E. To get, you see, to um, reach. if you put it on the field, there is like a bullet on the screen the if you do an overlook reaction with somebody else. And the poor yeah. okay? With somebody else, that is important. Okay. So you basically... Thank you, kind soul. Um, go on the field with somebody, let's say facial, okay? Yep. Use her E. Then you go to, let's say, Toma. You sis E, you do an overload reaction. Then you go to Chevy, hold her E to have a whole. You need to hold the E. Tapping E does not work. Hold E and shoot something. Hold, yeah, okay. And then you get the shred, like the VV shred for Electro and Pyro. And then you go to the main character. Okay? <clears throat> for example, okay? I would recommend doing it a little bit different where Fischl is getting the attack buff as well. Because you are giving an attack buff as well, while <coughs> to travel CAE, right? Holy fucking shit, that worked! So yeah, technically it should be something like Clorind, let's say Toma, Chevuse, Pischel, Clorind again. I would probably do it like that. The elderly okay, woman's so look of gratitude follows you. I don't know what I did, away. but before that, she her dealt 12 k per tick of her ult. Until you move mm. She dealt out of 16 sight. now, and However, she fucking one-shot the Wingard. I don't it know what I did. You haven't made much progress. In the test run. <sighs> yeah, yeah I one-shot it too. But that doesn't mean shit. So like, room guards are like, Should not an enemy anymore. Should we man again at the square? He seemed well, yeah. like a pretty responsible guy. But I'm sure he knows the people play, here far I better than us. <laughs> oh, good yeah. idea! Just as you start to make way to the square, intent well, on know, finding the man to, again, uh, there's a voice. The farm it a little. <clears throat> I know, let's do co-op. <laughs> let's see what fuckers I get in my team. Please wait, distinguished guests. Several strange guards suddenly call out to you. They run forward to meet you and proceed to politely pay their respects. Oh my God. Greetings, gentlemen. Are we being invited for afternoon tea? Surely you jest, my lady. That would not be our place. It is His Excellency the King who requests to meet with you. The Excellency Please the King? Who the fuck would that be? Yo, the short kings, what the fuck? It's me and Albedo and another Shao. <laughs> <clears throat> and now fucking Raiden. <laughs> Good shit. And then there's me. I would. I uh, know you can't really use Fischl that well. Because. I can't switch out. So basically. Uh, the buff of. The artifacts that would not work. Hmm. Do you think this could be a trap? In Koba would probably go well, for Kokomi. Kokomi is broken. We have to investigate the court at some point, right? Meeting the king himself would be a fantastic opportunity to do that. I say we go for it. If something happens, we'll just turn oh. the whole place upside down. <clears throat> uh, that sounds a little intense. After a quick discussion. You nod to the guards and agree to oh, follow. Shit, that lag. <laughs> they lead you all the way to the oh, audience my hall guys, of the palace. Internet don't like support, that's Gilded why. tables line both sides of the hall. The space itself is adorned with pocket. all manner of expensive antiques, glass shelves, and silver candlesticks. Okay. The items appear quite ordinary in size and dimension, yet their presence somehow makes the emptiness of the hall feel even more surreal and ominous. Wow, it's so luxurious! The elderly uh -huh. king, clad in a magnificent robe, the sits upon face? the deep crimson throne before you. He wears above his head a majestic crown, with a gemstone the size of a bird's egg set right at the very front. 
As you observe it, you see a complex pattern of light reflect off its surface. Ahem. <coughs> They're here, That's your annoying. majesty. A man dressed Holy in dark shit, Navi is destroying them, what the minister, fuck? Shields his mouth with his hands and bends down to whisper a few words to the king. After a moment, he lowers his hands and stands back up. His gaze shifts to fixate on your group, but he does not move from his place at the king's side. The king does not appear entirely aware of his surroundings. The man by his side, though, we should keep a close eye on him. The king remains still and says nothing. The minister is the one who speaks. Oh. Esteemed guests, allow me to thank you for coming to our faraway kingdom. Unfortunately, his majesty the king finds himself quite exhausted from work. So please allow me, his prime minister, to welcome you in his stead. I've heard tell that your group, the Marachose Hunters, used your exceptional ability with the sword to repel the monsters near the capital. Such a great deed deserves to be rewarded. However, seeing that I was not fortunate enough to observe such a feat with my own eyes, you'll forgive me for seeking to verify the truth by speaking to you myself. Well, we've got nothing to hide. You brought us here to talk, right? So we'll just explain what happened. The golem's blades were so powerful, they could cut down trees in a single swipe! It took a lot of effort to defeat them, even for trained swordsmen like us. Well, that was enough details, right? Believe us now? Hmm. Your account does indeed match those of the survivors. Since you were the ones who defeated the monsters, that must mean you are also in possession of the treasure they stole. That is correct. Well, we did take the treasure, but... How did he know about the treasure? Ah, then I must ask that you return it at once. It belongs to the kingdom. Wait, but didn't you just say that our great deed deserved a reward? Shouldn't the treasure be considered a part of that? <laughs> Oh, yes, yes, that was indeed what I said. But you seem to have forgotten a very important distinction. Only that which is freely given by the king can be considered a reward. Taking the rightful wealth of a kingdom without said permission, on the other hand, is a crime. Ah, But that's Jeta. completely unreasonable. Yeah, that makes no sense. If it weren't for us, the treasure would still be buried underground somewhere. Maybe so, yet the fact remains. You tried to dispose of the treasure without reporting it to the court and without receiving permission, yes? Um... What, no answer? Surely you're not insinuating that you, a group of legendary Marachose hunters, sought to take the treasure for yourselves? I... Well, what about the king? Is he just gonna let this guy talk for him the whole time? Clad in his magnificent robe, the king remains seated, with his hands resting on either side of the throne. His posture is rigid and unmoving. He stares forward with an empty look in his eyes, completely unmoved by the events before him. <sighs> From the look of things, could the Prime Minister be the evil sorcerer? Or... Could both the king and the prime minister have fallen under the evil sorcerer's control? I would like to observe the number of guards stationed in the hall. The guards in the palace appear fully armed, their expressions solemn. Sensing the tense atmosphere in the room, they stand at the ready, each with a hand placed upon the hilt of their sword, as if prepared to draw their weapons and surround you at a moment's notice. Well, there goes my plan to turn the whole place upside down, I guess. It appears we've been visited by nothing more than a group of ill-intentioned imposters. What a pity. Guards, take them away and throw them in the dungeons. Oh, in the Before dungeons. Before I decide your fate, however, I must first determine whether you have any accomplices outside the court. Time to go Can't to the sex. Or maybe 
maybe start some kind of riot? But if we try to fight the guards right now... Her don't worry. quest is long. At least we figured out who's behind all yeah, this. Yeah, somewhat. Let's just play it by ear. If you're scared, Paimon, just hold my hand. Everybody have ours until now? Roughly? Aw, thanks you guys. Ah. You allow yourself to be led away by guards surrounding you on both sides. It's only when you begin to feel drops of water falling from the dungeon ceiling and smell the stench of death and decay all around you that you finally realize you've stepped into a completely different world. Stay here and don't try anything funny. The guards lock the cell door and leave without looking back. Wait, sir! Your voice echoes through the dark hall, but the only response you receive is the sound of water dripping from the ceiling. No! What should we do now? Carve out a new path of fate with our own two hands, of course. I draw my weapon. You reach toward your waist, but find nothing there. You now recall that your weapons were confiscated before the guards locked you in the cell. The bag of treasure along with them. Uh, what about that knife I hid in my boot? When did you hide it in there? <laughs> when did you hide when it? When I was thinking about digging a tunnel. Rejected. You Rejected. failed to inform the GM of this course of action. <laughs> now, nah, no, now, nah, yeah, I like you too much. You're amazing. You in prison. And the keys to the cell aren't anywhere to be seen. <clears throat> Correct. You don't even feel a lock hole on the cell door. Oh, well, there goes all our projected. <laughs> indeed. Huh? Why are you the one saying indeed? <coughs> Mina. Because that statement holds true for me as well. This is where the script ends. What? But that's a terrible ending! That's a terrible ending. Hmm. Generally speaking, this should be the point where the scriptwriter gives the players some kind of hint. Or gives the GM some kind of code for how to move forward. Uh, I mean, maybe they just really wanted us to be immersed in the feeling of being in prison? Like, they'll only show us the way out once we've grown truly and utterly desperate? That is a possibility. <sighs> if only there were desserts and tea in real prison. Oh, wait, guess that's kind of how the Fortress of Meripeed works if you're lucky. Oh, before I forget, Navia, the short sword you had with you earlier. I took a closer look. And the craftsmanship doesn't appear to resemble anything from this era. If I remember correctly, that style was last in vogue several hundred years ago. Wait, Claran said that sword used to belong to her master, right? Does that mean her master has been alive that long? I doubt it. The way she went about things often made her seem childish more than anything. I'd say the sword was most likely an heirloom passed down over time. Uh, hang on. A precious oh, heirloom passed down to your master. <laughs> and you gave it to me just like that? <clears throat> you weren't worried I might lose it? Master left many things to me when she disappeared. There was the sword, an old key, and a good amount of junk she probably just didn't want to take with her. I gave you the sword back then, because... I didn't want our friendship to end. Wait, when did this happen exactly? Hmm. After the duel. Between Mr. Callus and myself. Uh, uh, they do not uh, end sweet. Before that, Clorand would have meals with us and even stay over at the Spina some days. <clears throat> she was on great terms with Papa as well. After the duel, though... There was a period of time where we simply didn't know how to face each other. She entrusted this sword to me, and never came back. <laughs> we were both sad, and conflicted, and totally overthinking everything as a result. <laughs> Whenever I looked at this sword, Bro, this story is I so couldn't weird. help but wonder if Miss Petronia had never introduced us to each Imagine other at that picnic. Imagine Clint kills Maybe part of the Navia's dad, right? Could have been yeah. In the duel. 
back then. Yep. Then Corinne goes like to Nava and be like, oh yeah, here, by the way, body. take the sword. But a close friend mm. as well. And it was like, no okay, I'm dipping now. See you in a few months. The most important thing is that you two found your way back to each other and can enjoy things like Straight this together. Straight up. Makes no fucking sense. Yep, you're right. I'm sorry, you two. I didn't mean to bring up any sad memories. Think nothing of it. No one here is at fault. Noise from the door. Plop. Huh? New script has been unlocked, I guess. Oh, uh, looks like the next part of our script is here. <sighs> Perfect timing. The situation was really starting to get desperate. And not just because of the present thing. From Clarion's face, Hyman really can't tell if it's good news or bad news. It speaks to her professionalism as a senior GM. <clears throat> Water continues to drip from the ceiling. In this lightless dungeon, you lack a reliable way to tell how much time has passed. Eventually, you get used to the unpleasant odor of straw, mold, and rust. And find yourselves alternating between fits of drowsiness and despair. Suddenly, you hear footsteps outside the door. Heads up, everyone. Someone's coming. Gather close, everyone, and keep your voice down. This is so weird. Who are you? I work as a guard in these dungeons, but my true identity is the same as your own. I'm also a Mara Chausse hunter. Huh? <laughs> Shh. I've already sent away the other guards, but if we make too much noise... I understand, but how can we be sure we can trust you? The king has issued a formal decree. In light of the irrefutable proof of your crime, you're to be executed before tomorrow's sunrise. <laughs> If you want to escape, it has to be now. The executed? We barely did anything! Monsters appearing at the same location as the treasure. Could this entire thing have been a trap? There will be time for speculation once we're out of here. As for my identity, I have no way to prove that to you just yet. Infiltrating the capital was difficult, and finding a chance to speak with you has taken a lot out of me. I could go on, but I think we can all agree that now is not the time for details. Have you seen our weapons anywhere, sir? Don't worry, I brought them with me. They're just behind the door. Still, these weapons alone won't be enough to defeat the true enemy behind the scenes. His faction is too powerful. The guards are all under his control. And he's even stationed a number of golems in various rooms throughout the palace. To defeat him, you must find a secret vault. It is said that within that vault, the Mara Chausse hunters of the past left behind a treasure with the power to defeat the sorcerer. You're not coming with us? No, I'll remain in the dungeons to deal with the guards. I'll try my best to distract them so they don't go after you. As long as my identity is not revealed, I'll be able to aid you when the final battle comes. In that case... Please stay safe. Thank you for your concern. I will do my utmost. As for the location of the vault, here, this map should lead you there. Interesting. Interesting. Got it. All right. Once I open the door, remember to stick close and refrain from making any noise. I'll lead you out of here as quickly as possible. You now have the chance to restore the honor and legacy of the Mara Chausse Hunters. So please, get out there and reclaim what's ours. And be sure to exercise caution. With the help of the guard, you successfully escape the dungeons. Your sense of despair and anxiety both seem to fade as you continue your quest.
Good shit. Okay. Oh, oh, this is okay. So, so flower with crit rate, one roll into energy recharge, and then I got crit damage. Wait, and, uh, we didn't get to use our skills at all while we were in prison. Who knows when we're gonna get the chance to use that cool summon spell? That is a pity, but we can only continue to move forward. Okay. <laughs> I don't want to make you mad, but I got Faruzan from Weapon Banner. <laughs> okay, it fuck be you. The place marked on the map. <laughs> this bit of rock certainly looks suspicious. <laughs> well, I'd say an investigation's in order then. Plus, if all else fails, we can just blow it up. Kaboom. Wow, <coughs> you really meant that. <coughs> you really meant that. Before it. you lies a serene stretch of open water. Now you're casually shooting fucking rocks and pieces. Well, mm. guess this means it's time for a swim. What's the matter? I was here before. Uh, it's nothing. <clears throat> As you step into the cave, you find yourself in an eerily quiet space. Before you lies a narrow passageway that appears to trail off endlessly into the distance. Oh no, there's a puzzle. Blocking our way in. Hmm. It almost Same looks like it's been here good. for quite some time. <laughs> Who's good? We've got to hand it to Why the table talk troop. He really went all out with the four level sixty. <laughs> hmm. I gave her huh. whatever artifacts what I had. Down here? A kind of I mean, mechanism connected why would she bad? Or why would she huh. be good? It well, looks she, like we might have pack. to arrange got it into a certain pattern. Crit rate and crit damage. A pattern on a she's stone got, door. Uh, electro bonus. mentioned before. That's good. Uh, is something wrong, Claret? Oh. After a long, difficult journey, you finally arrive at the location indicated by your map. It appears to be an a ancient site six. of some okay. sort, where yeah. treasure likely awaits. Your surroundings are exceedingly quiet and serene. As if the secret that slumbers here has never once been disturbed. If you listen closely, you can almost convince yourself you can hear the sound of its calm, gentle breathing. Uh, that description makes Paimon feel kind of bad for disturbing this place. We're doing this for the sake of the people, to free them from the evil sorcerer. I say it's time for this treasure to once again see the light of day. Lenny's right. We need to keep going. The future of the kingdom depends on it. The next part of the story requires us to solve the puzzle, right? Let's start exploring the area. Yes, that should be fine. Hmm. Something feels off about all this. I guess I'll just have to improvise.
This shit is getting big as fuck, man. Found something here too. Well. Good job, Navia. Good job, Luni. Okay. <gasps> it worked. Something just appeared. Some kind of new mechanism, maybe? By solving the puzzles. You prove yourselves worthy of inheriting the secrets of the past. At the end of each puzzle, you're rewarded with... With? With? A key. Oh, it must be the key to the big door. <laughs> but one key is not this completed. is one of the Marachose Hunter keys that are passed down from generation to generation. It looks just like the one Master passed down to me. It is said that four keys in total are required to form the final, complete key. And it seems like we just collected three of them. That must mean... <gasps> huh? What's wrong? You hear a few strange noises. Suddenly, all the torches in the ruin go out at once. What's going on? Did we fall into another trap? For the sake of immersion, please close your That'll eyes, everyone. <clears throat> Without the torches, the space is now completely dark, and you cannot see anything. I'm not closing like, my eyes. I can still see a little bit over here. Don't break the immersion, Paimon. Sorry. Suddenly, you hear the sound of footsteps pierce through the darkness. <gasps> There's someone else here. <sighs> oh, this is so unsettling. I can't see anything. <laughs> I've been discovered then. Wait. I've been that discovered voice then. You recognize the voice as belonging to the guard who led you to this place. It appears he now covets the treasure for himself, and has come to stake his claim. Oh, so this is just part of the script. <sighs> then I can probably relax. Well, if we can't see anything, that means we can't fight to the fullest of our abilities. <clears throat> Should we retreat for now? Judging by the way he's holding his sword, he must be a real Mara Chose hunter. But... This isn't part of the script. Retreat? <laughs> That's not the hunter way. If it's dark for us, then it's dark for him. We choose to fight. Good job, Nadia. Your choice is noted. Please keep your eyes closed until I tell you the torches have been relit. This battle will be in the dark. This you battle will it. be in the dark. Oh, no. Let us begin. <laughs> okay, here's cool eyes. Do we get an animation? No, but I get to use Clorind. Ooh, okay. Right. I'd like to try to hit him with my sword. Your strike is successful. Is he still? Let me check our fucking stats and whatnot. 105 EM, 96 crit rate. Some ER. 
No electro damage, Gobi. Absolution. That's an interesting name for a weapon. Not gonna lie. C3. What do her constellation team do? Normal attacks hit upon. Do this trigger. Two coordinated attacks. Okay. Anyways, give me back a minute, have to go to third. Back. Let's see. I don't even know her talents. Mm -hmm. Okay. The gun shooting is kind of interesting, but spamming E is more fun. Is it over? Can we open our eyes now? The enemy is strong and relentless, but the battle is nearing its end. The torches have not been relit. What about now? Final strike. Of course. She's pulling a fucking Raiden. Of course, you can, I guess. Warm fire flickers across the walls once more. Your vision is now clear. In an impressive display of courage, the four of you successfully defeat the uninvited guest. That look in his eyes. It's like he became an entirely different person as soon as I defeated him. I do some math work, huh? do that, buddy. Mr. Florian? Oh, wait. We're supposed to be rolling. Mr. Florian? I should stay in character. Your name, guard. Why did you lead us here just to betray us? Is this treasure really more important to you than bringing peace to the kingdom? <laughs> what kingdom? What peace? Those were nothing but lies. I, Florian, am a true Mara Shose hunter, descended from hunters of ages past. So he's also using his real name. Or, wait. Was that the name of his character from the very beginning? Then I'm even more confused. If you truly are a Mara Shose hunter, shouldn't you want to help us just like you said before? Shouldn't we fight together for the sake of the people? What do you know? In this day and age, there's no glory to be had as a Mara Shose hunter. What's that supposed to mean? My skills were passed down to me by my father. We lived a life of obscurity in the remote wilderness. Still, he devoted everything he had to being a Mara Shose hunter. And what did he get in return? A life of poverty and pain. And a world that forgot all about him. When he died, not a single person came to mourn his passing. The Mara Shose hunters were the ones who saved this city, were heroes. 
We deserved more recognition and respect than this. Is he talking about how no one in the capital seems to remember the hunters and their legacy? I didn't expect the script to contain this level of social criticism. <laughs> the so script. that's why you want to take the treasure for yourself? You feel like you're owed fame and wealth? If you already knew where the treasure was located, why didn't you just come down here and take it? Because I still needed the final key. <clears throat> Only a true Marashose hunter is capable of passing through this final door. As someone who sought to hurt others for his own gain, Florian lost that right long ago. Okay, but what is this treasure anyway? We've got all the keys, right? So can we just go in and take a look? You're sure you want to go in? We've been talking about it for so long, of course we want to see what's inside! And we've already defeated Florian, right? So he won't try to take it from us anymore. <sighs> Pesky brats. Pesky brats. Watch yourself. Watch then yourself. let's open the door together. <clears throat> Alright. <clears throat> Your choice of action is confirmed. Kuren takes out the keys from earlier and walks up to the heavy door. Without anyone noticing, she takes out her own key and joins it with the others to form the final required shape. Before you, the door to the treasure, sealed and undisturbed for more than a hundred years, finally swings open. You hear the shrill wail of the door hinge as it rotates for the first time after years of disuse. Almost like a sleeping giant letting out an extended yawn. Oh shit, Christopher. You get the impression that the secrets buried behind this door oh shit, two might be just as heavy as the sound you just heard. <gasps> it's open! Come on, let's go in! <laughs> I want to see what's inside! I want the money. Ooh, me too! Oh no, she's well. Oh no! No, man, this again. Uncovering hidden treasure is the most exciting part of adventuring. What do we have here? What do we have uh -huh. here? A stone tablet and some shabby weapons. Those are not shabby. You call this a treasure vault? Looks more like an abandoned warehouse. Oh my God! Maybe the troop ran out of budget at the end. They provided a super immersive experience at the beginning only to drop the ball at the most important part? They could have at least filled this place with cardboard mm. mora or something. Cardboard Boy, mora. I get it now. Paimon, this is the real Mara Shose hunter treasure. Huh? Huh? <laughs> this is it? The Mara Shose hunter treasure is just a stone slab and some broken swords? I can't believe it. I refuse to believe it. Oh my god, Whoa, what the okay? fuck happened to him? The fuck is going on, man? Special effects in my DD. The Mara Shose hunter before you appears to suffer a serious mental breakdown. He needs to leave the room for a moment to collect himself. One of you seems to understand the significance of the treasure already. If the rest of you wish to follow suit, you may remain here in the meantime and explore your surroundings. Yeah. I want these crystal flies, a bitch. There's three of them. Give me the crystal flies. I don't care about the rest. Where's the last one? Good shit. Got him. Now let's talk to them. Walter. Walter. Walter White. Those are interesting bows, but those are not Mitternachtweise, so they are shit. <clears throat> what is the treasure supposed to be? Ah, oh, the names on the tablet. The old and broken weapons. It's on to her blood that stands there quietly. A few people's names and deeds have been inscribed upon it. Hmm. <sighs> 
So, how are you doing? Feeling any better? I... What just happened? Do you remember how you got here? Or what happened to your body just now? Uh, I remember now. Oh, his purple I eyes aren't purple anymore. Because I wanted to... Huh, the explosives in the cave! You mean these? Huh? How did you... I could tell something was off the moment I stepped into this cave. So I kept an eye out. I've already dismantled the whole thing. <laughs> so the strongest champion duelist in all of Fontaine saved the day once again. Guess I shouldn't be surprised. It would seem your skills as a Mara Chose hunter are as sharp as ever. I deserve some answers, don't you think? Tell me why you wanted to lure me here. Everything you said earlier sounded like the truth. Luckily, your monologue was dramatic enough to convince my friends you were just role-playing. I... I don't know. I just always felt like there was something in my heart that didn't belong to me. Something agitated and angry. T who knows? Maybe it was my own anger all along. I could never really tell. The feelings about my father and the other Marshose hunters are real. It just wasn't fair. I was angry, bitter that no one remembered them or praised their accomplishments. I don't know when it started, but at some point, my anger came to completely consume me. At that point, I remember the legend my father used to tell me, the one about the treasure. But if the treasure was all you cared about, why plant all those explosives? Wouldn't they just destroy the treasure and bury you along with it? Uh, I can't remember. My head is a mess. It felt like there was this voice telling me to eliminate the hunters, but now it's gone. It's gone. From your description, I suspect you were dealing with a devorator. A uh, devorator? Oh, your master... Uh, <clears throat> Your father, I mean. Never talked about it? It was a kind of monster that was active several centuries ago. No, I've heard of it. I'm just not sure why you suddenly... Wait, it can't be. The seal! The seal? My family has served as Mara Chose hunters for many generations. But the title and swordsmanship weren't the only things passed down over our line. Up there, sorry, there was a seal over. as well. My father instructed Rookie me to deal. always watch over that seal and maintain it regularly. He said it had been passed down over a truly ancient age, and protecting it was our clan's most important duty. But I neglected that duty after he died. I finally decided to come down and check on it one day, and that's where my memories become fuzzy. The Devorator would be a formidable adversary for any mortal being, even ones as capable as the Hunters. If you lacked the power to completely destroy it, you could easily fall prey to its influence and corruption. In light of this, some Marashose Hunters chose to seal the Devorator away, in the hopes that a permanent solution would come with the passage of time. I heard it has the power to amplify the obsessions and desires in people's hearts, to the point where they overtake you entirely. It would seem I'm not just lacking in skill with a blade, but in mental fortitude as well. And yet, you were able to retrieve three of the four keys. If I remember correctly, each was entrusted to a respected and capable hunter. How did you manage it? One of them belonged to my father. The second I stole from a different hunter. And the third... ...was one that I snatched while the person was on the way home from the tavern. I nearly died in that alley. Damn. I know just how strong you are. It's as clear as day to everyone in Fontaine. I observed you from dusk to dawn, but could never find any opportunity to sneak up on you. I never even saw you drink a single glass of liquor. The only way I could think to obtain that last key... ...was to lure you here using your hobby, and then... Oh, I get it now. That monster, it wanted to bury you here alongside the treasure. Mm, I won't comment on anything else, but the script was good. The script was good. <laughs> well, I did pour my heart and soul into it. The stories my father used to tell me, 
about the glory of the heroic Mara Shosei hunters and how they came to be forgotten. It's more than just a story. Huh? You're proud to be a hunter. You're still holding onto that part of yourself, no matter how small. I have done so many despicable things. I have nothing to be proud of. Then explain the purpose of the evil sorcerer in your story. Huh? Isn't he the true antagonist? The one who sought nothing but his own gain, and used the people as pawns to attain it? In your heart of hearts, he was the one you truly wanted to defeat. But... but I've already tainted my sword. I no longer have any right to... Wake up, Florian. Remember how you introduced yourself Wake earlier? Wake up! Do you really think the hunters acted out of a desire for honor and glory? Or to be loved and acknowledged by the people? What did your father teach you about our order? Hmm. You do not wield your sword for yourself, but to protect those you serve. There's nothing special about a blade. It's the intentions of the wielder that matter above all else. Do you still not understand? Even after seeing the treasure for yourself? The contents of that room, they represent the true legacy the hunters left behind. You're right. I... I am a Mara Shosei hunter. It's time for me to redeem, no, to finally serve the people I vowed to protect all along. I wouldn't be so quick to push aside the need for redemption. I know. That's a charge I won't bother to defend myself against. Good. Then, come with me. And help me see the script through to the end. Huh? See the script through to the end? But... But there's no more script left. Hmm. Oh. Never finished it, huh? No, I mean... I wrote the script with the sole purpose of luring you all here. There was no reason to write beyond this point. Then we'll just have to keep writing it. The evil sorcerer still needs to be defeated. You mean the Devorator? Uh, are you saying I have to make up the rest of the script as we go along? Is that really so hard? You've already written most of it. Surely you can write an ending where the hunters win and justice prevails. I'll be there to help you too. <coughs> you aren't afraid your party will fall into danger? Nah, man, that's where I should. Of, <laughs> and they're all quite skilled. Except for Besides, I need their help. Rudina's like and drowning in her fucking own juices, some shit. Uh, <laughs> She's like inting. I don't intend to spoil the fun. Sometimes protecting dreams and fantasies is more important than exposing the truth. Don't you think? Ready. What a fucking dash. Uh, they're back. That took a while. Uh, um. Where did that crystal oh. flag come from? Uh. Are you fucking shitting me? What? Ahem. My fellow Mara Shosei hunters, please forgive me for I have sinned. <laughs> down. Huh? Sorry. <clears throat> After crossing swords with you and witnessing your courage in battle, I've rediscovered my true self and regained my pride as a Mara Shosei hunter. Oh, do I smell a redemption arc? Redemption arc? I confess, I was brainwashed by the evil sorcerer. He asked me to lure you here so he could bury you in this cave. wasn't you but the evil sorcerer that's right he's adept at manipulating the hearts and minds of the people i fell under his influence because i did not possess a strong enough sense of will huh. and how are you going to prove that you're a changed man we're not going to fall for the same crap twice um to be perfectly honest i only came to my senses after seeing the treasure it reminded me of my father's past teachings. The treasure was actually... The names of all the Mara Shosei hunters from ages past and their weapons? No, Wait, the friends... 
we already know? Um, fall into Don't another way, some shit. Role players exploration skills. Oh, wait, I mean, Mara Shosei Hunter Navia's exploration skills. <laughs> we just finished reading through the content of the stone tablet. That tablet recorded the lives of some fascinating people. For example, this Mara Shosei Hunter called Est. She inherited the responsibilities of the Golden Hunter and passed judgment on many people. But in <laughs> private, she had a very easygoing personality. Her favorite pastime was singing and dancing with her friends. And she was said to have a beautiful voice. So, she was just like you. Oh, you really think so? Um, well, I don't know. when you put it that way, I suppose I also have a few things in common with this Walter. Working as an executioner, he supposedly used <laughs> a countless number of tricks to confound his enemies in battle. Oh, if only I could have seen the feats of magic he pulled off back then. Their lives were all so exciting. You could write so many cool books about their accomplishments. How could they have all been forgotten? Because they chose to be. To hunt monsters that only appear in the shadows, you must also operate in the dark. To be a Mara Shosei hunter is to willingly give up on wealth and fame. Then this stone tablet must have been left behind by their companions. That's right. Few Mara Shosei hunters ever revealed their identity to the public. They always protected the city from the shadows. The only time they spoke of their accomplishments would be at night, when they gathered with their fellow hunters in front of the bonfire to share stories of the monsters slain by their hand. So, this tablet was created not so that the hunters would be remembered by the people, but so that they would be remembered by each other. Well, no yeah. this place was so well <laughs> Obviously. Makes sense, right? <laughs> the stone tablet in solemn silence. The names of your comrades etched onto its surface serve as a reminder that you are never truly alone. No, the etched. tablet proves no, no. that although a hunter walks a shrouded path, it is not a solitary one. There will always be those who walk beside you, a fact that remains as true today as in ages long past. Their legacies shall continue to be passed down from generation to generation. As everlasting as the stone onto which their names are carved. Father, you once told me that I should seek out the treasure if I ever became lost. So this is what you wanted me to find. I've decided to trust you, Florian. Thank you, my friend. You are very kind. I implore you, everyone. Please give me a chance to make up for all I've done. Allow me to fight alongside you and defeat the evil sorcerer that threatens the peace and prosperity of everyone in this kingdom. Well, I say we let you join. Sounds good to me too. Everyone makes mistakes. What matters is what you do to make up for them. I have no objections, but Mr. Florian, do you even know how to defeat the evil sorcerer? Hmm. When he took over my mind, I gained some insight into his thoughts. Every time I thought of the treasure, he reacted with a strong sense of fear. Huh? He's afraid of the treasure? Okay. But there's nothing here except some broken weapons in the stone tablet! What if the secret's hidden inside these weapons? A GM, permission to investigate. GM? Oh my god, need to get an aid. A nine. Ooh. Good job, Navia. Luck sacking, as always. At first glance, the weapons appear absolutely ordinary. But as you observe them, you notice a faint energy emanating from within. These blades have slain countless monsters. Though it's been a long time since they were used in battle, Are those their edges remain sharp. As if they're simply waiting for the next worthy hunter to sure. carry on their legacy. So basically, take these with us, right? I'll take this weapon, since it used to belong to Est. Maybe it'll find comfort in being held by someone who appreciates the arts. Oh, you take the good bow. idea. 
I'll take Mr. Walter's bow then. From one archer magician to another. Hmm. Paimon's gonna pick a cool weapon too! Paimon and weapon, oh no. Paimon's weapon is a fucking belly. As you grip your weapons, you can almost feel the will of past hunters coursing through your being. It's a feeling of courage, determination. A silent vow passed down from generation to generation that says, eradicate the monsters, no matter the cost. Eradicate all sinners. Mr. Florian, do you know where to find the evil sorcerer? In my I was able to ass. see his surroundings when our minds were connected. I believe he's currently he's hiding out at the church in the kingdom. We must be extremely careful. He's spent so long living among monsters that he's now taken the form of one. He will not be easily defeated. Then why don't we explore some more and try to find some higher level gear? We don't higher level fight gear. And lose, right? Oh. Um. Nope. No. We have to strike now. He was greatly weakened when I managed to break out of his control. If we let him rest, he might have time to escape. I agree with Mr. Florian. We've got to act while we have the advantage. Don't forget, the people of the capital are counting on us. Yeah, now that we've got a plan, there's no point in waiting. The longer this drags on, the worse it will be for everybody. Yes, yes, that's what's called... Taking the initiative. Yes, that's exactly right. All right, you've persuaded Paimon. Persuaded Paimon. Mr. Florian, please lead the way. Of course. Follow me. He had to set up so many scenes today. Now he has to join in for this last part. I really don't envy his job. <laughs> his job, yeah, uh, for you know. <laughs> Finally. You decide to slay the evil sorcerer and bring peace back to the kingdom once and for all. As you walk away, you feel the gaze of the stone tablet at your back, as if all the hunters of the past are wishing you success in the battle ahead. I want that crystal and flower. Your triumphant return. It fucking cop teasing me. It's terrible. Do we get animation? No. From here. Wait, where the fuck did it go? Oh. Good. Magic cup and shit. I go from here to the south. Makes more sense right now. Finally, you arrive at the church Florian described. As you approach, an the ominous basement. aura surrounds you. You get the sense that your enemy is close at hand. How it's strange. a scroll. This uneasy feeling seems so real. How did they manage that? How did they manage that? Now, it is time for the final battle. We're not... Uh, Let's go. Not really the smartest, not gonna lie. Florian, wait. Also kind of annoying that we only hear Rina's mind talking. Outside. And the other characters just been not. By the Devorator once. It could easily re-enter your mind and take control of your body. I don't think it's a good idea for you to be this close. If it corrupts you again, it's possible you might take on a new form entirely. That's exactly why I have to go. Why I should be at the very front. Uh, you mean... I want to yes. die. I intend to lure it into my body. That's too risky. If things get out of hand, I might have to kill you. Do you understand how dangerous this is? 
I understand. But if I do this, you'll have a clear and visible target. The Devorator will have a hard time passing up a chance to enter a body it knows how to control. You won't have to worry about any of your friends being taken over. <laughs> I You're don't like think he can be taken over. Okay. You're a just uh, and powerful Marashosa hunter. Maybe Paimon, but... The monster broke free due to my error. Who would fucking it's take right Paimon? Let's the responsibility for its destruction. This is... Something that I have to do. Consider it a duel to restore my honor. My only request is that you give it your all. I understand. Then, as a champion duelist, I hereby accept your request for a duel, and extend to you my most sincere regards. Thank you. The battle is now upon us. Let the Devorator once again tremble under the blade of the Mara Chose Hunters. Animation time? Or is it justified? I mean, it could be both. Oh, I'm tired, man. I hope it's soon over. I'm doing this for three hours already. Or close to three hours. It's been actually two hours twenty. Oh my god, the fancy cards. Why is nothing working? This foe is not invincible. You hold the treasure. The power to defeat it in your own two hands. The treasure? You mean... The names. It's the Marshose Hunter's names. You forget, Paimon? There's still one skill we saved until the very end. Come Hunters on. fight not for fame, but to aid the people whenever they are summoned. Walter the Marashose Hunter. Master of a thousand tricks. Executioner of the Phantom Hunters. I call for aid. Oh shit, that's Poggies. Est, the Marashose Hunter. Inheritor of Cassiodor's will. Judge of the Shadow Hunters. Petronia, protector of justice and order, the hunter I respect the most. Thank you for saving my friend, the best one I'll ever know. Aww. Please, lend us your strength. Now we're being straight up amazing as always, I like it. We have come to answer your summons. Oh my god, there are fucking enemy here. Characters. That was banger. That was a f amazing animation, man. The monsters were eradicated and the sorcerer was defeated. Peace soon returned to the capital. Those in the court, manipulated by the sorcerer, also recognized the errors of their ways. Some remembered the names of the heroes who saved their kingdom, but others simply continued their lives none the wiser. Such is the story of the Marashose hunters. They pursue the phantoms in the darkness and exterminate all who pose a threat. They will always protect the city and those within it. 
even should all memory of their accomplishments be forgotten by the very people they serve. <sighs> I am assuming we've finally reached the end of the script. Yes, you've reached one of the better endings. That's it's nice. a pretty solid story overall. One of the better endings. I thought it was just an ordinary adventure at first, but the further we got into it, the more impressed I became with the production and the plot. That final battle especially. All the effects were super realistic. Yeah. Oh, right. Yeah. Yeah, totally. totally. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's a really good point. I never expected the weapons we picked up from that vault would have that kind of effect. Yeah. Yeah, Looney's like... really scared the daylights out of me when it started glowing. I took a good look at it after we got out, but I don't think it ever lit up again. Oh, we should probably give these props back, right? I'll just leave mine here. Yeah, it's a good idea for you now. Did you have a good time? God, is she of stupid? Course. She's Let me so know if dumb. Script like this comes around. <laughs> There's no way. Sure, no problem. She was able to pretend then she's an Arkham for 500 for years. I think I need some time to fully digest everything that just happened. Once Mr. Florian is awake, please pass on my regards to him. He must be extremely exhausted to have passed out cold like that. Yeah, motherfucker right. dead. <laughs> He's had a lot to deal with. Yeah, I mean, close well, to death. See you all some other time. Toodaloo. Toodaloo. Nah, man, I... Is she stupid? Okay, oh my so, god. Uh, can I ask now? I think it should be fine. <laughs> I think it should be fine. What in the world was going on back there? Uh, uh, so you saw through all of that? Bro, you can't be that blind, bro. <laughs> that time in the cave when you told us to close our eyes, it'd be weirder if we didn't notice anything. I was dying of curiosity the entire time. I mean, you did a pretty bang-up job of pretending nothing had gone wrong. Farina actually looked like she thought all of it was planned. Yeah, because she's dumb as fuck. None of us wanted to be the one to break the illusion. Hey, <laughs> what are you all talking about? Apparently, are you dumb? Oh wait, don't tell me Paimon never. No, oh, this is all my fault. It's not too late to cover your ears. Here, Paimon, I'll do it for you. I do for uh, you. A bit late for that, don't you think? Uh, you're saying everything that happened back there wasn't actually part of the script? Well, no fucking shit, Sherlock. <laughs> it's probably more accurate to say this was never a real scripted story to begin with. What? Ugh, that's so loud. My head. I like how... <laughs> Bye, man. No, the poor man. No, no, I'm shaking, please. No, I'm shaking. Oh, oh, my head. Oh, my God. I feel so bad for him. Did, did Paimon just hear that right? You guys made up that whole last part on the spot? Yup. It's not nice to lie to people, but Paimon's got to admit that was a really good story, Florian. Oh, a good story. Oh, a nice improvisation, Florian. Yeah, it was like watching a magician improvise a spectacular magic trick after forgetting an important prop. If Paimon knew something was wrong with that vault, she would have floated straight in the opposite direction. <laughs> of course you would. Everything was under control. As if you've ever described a situation as being out of control. <laughs> I'm pretty sure any situation you consider to be easy to handle would scare a reasonable person half to death. Guess I'm just used to it. You're just uh, mentally ill? You must run into a lot of unexpected situations oh. then. That explains why you're so good at coming up with things on the spot. As for you, Florian. I know there's no excuse for what I did. I'll turn myself into the guards at once, confess my crimes, and accept any punishment that comes my way. No, it's fine. I'll just kill you right on the spot. already suffered more than enough. What? You may have been blinded by fame and fortune in the beginning, but your actions during the final battle had proven you to be a true Marachose hunter. <sighs> You'll be far more used to the city above ground than below. 
Your job as a hunter is more important. But... Of course, you'll still need to take the keys and pay a personal visit to the two hunters you wronged. Prepare to accept any terms they give you as well. Uh, yes, of course. As far as I'm concerned, though, your showing in the duel was enough to prove your honor. <sighs> then I'll do exactly as you said. I... I'll go return those two keys right now. Thank you so Move much, from? everyone. I'll do my best to prove myself worthy of the second chance you've given me. I swear this on my name and honor as a Mara Shosei hunter. Until we meet again, everyone. Ending should be rather soon. I think we teleport to the city somewhere still, more time, and then having like a talk with probably Charlotte. It's, it's most likely Charlotte. And then it's Jova or some shit. Speaking of Mara Shosei hunters, what should we do about the treasure in that cave? Leave it be. Are you sure? We could show it to people, make it so that the hunters are remembered. Don't you want that? No, they don't want no. to have that, okay? Every name on that tablet made the same choice. All hunters know what the path entails. I am no exception. My identity as a Mara Shosei hunter is not something I need people to remember. I wish only to be recognized as a champion duelist. Nothing more. That's certainly very different from the path of a magician. Still, I admire your decision. Wait, Prima just remembered something. If there were no special effects involved, why did our weapons begin to glow during the battle? That's because the Mara Shosei hunters of ages past would often imbue their weapons with special enchantments to suppress the monsters. Whenever a monster was nearby, their weapons would start to glow. Oh, so that's why they had an effect on that guy near the end. I really thought the summons were doing all the work. Well, I'm sure the summons were a part of it, too. Oh? How so? This particular Devorator probably hailed from the same era as the hunters we saw in the room. The names you recited all belonged to the bravest hunters. Countless monsters fell to their blades. That's likely why the Devorator visibly reacted when you said them out loud. So the names held the power all along! Uh, Navia, everything you said during your summon. Huh? Oh, <laughs> uh, I, um, I meant what I said. I mean, it was true to my character, so, yeah, I'm glad you heard it. Just don't make me repeat myself. He's adorable. It's embarrassing. I really appreciated those words. <laughs> all right, all right. Don't get all sentimental on me. Uh, anyway, let's not talk about that anymore. I'm going to go on ahead. Don't fall too far behind now. Sure, Navia. Uh, she ran off! I should probably head back as well. This story was truly incredible. I might have to spend the whole night telling my siblings all about it. Mm-hmm. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> Probably some Traveler. time for ending notes and that's it. Should your name and deeds be forgotten, what do you think the significance of your journey will be? Hmm. I suppose the significance would be the journey Speaking. itself and the world we helped create. There's still value in the time I shared with everyone here. In the things we were able to accomplish. Even if no one remembers them. Oh my god! A great answer. I'll you mean voice actor finally getting paid? I can't. Me? <laughs> the Mara Shosei hunter says nothing in response to that question. Perhaps her answer lies in her silence. An unspoken vow left to echo through the night. The path she walks needs no explanation. And with that, it's over. It was a good ending. It was a good ending sentence. I like it. Okay. 
Oh, shit. Nah, dude. Dude, this is an... Oh, my God. That's a fucking amazing item to get. I take that one. Perfect. And with that, it's a Joba on that one. For the people on two, thanks for tuning in. I appreciate it, man. I really hope... You enjoyed the story as well, as, as much as me. Lots of highlights, not gonna lie. But pretty great. If you did, um... Like for subscribe, have a shot. I will upload more of these. At least as long as Hoyo allows me to watch their trailers or their cutscenes. Because the cutscenes are a problem, okay? But besides that... Once again, thanks for tuning in. Hope you have a nice day, more night, evening, whatever the fuck you have. Have a good one. Take care of yourself. See you in the next video, whenever that will be. And bye-bye.